Hello, my name is Dr. Diwan S. Raja. Today I will discuss about cleft lip and cleft palate. Cleft lip is also called hair lip. Cleft lip and cleft palate are common craniofacial part defect. It is found in approximately 1 in 1000 lip bulbs. Cleft lip is more common than cleft palate. Cleft lip and cleft palate may occur simultaneously. Cleft may be unilateral or bilateral. Incisive fossa is the reference landmark for the cleft palate. So the cleft in front of it, there is the anterior cleft palate. There is behind the incisive fossa, there is the posterior cleft palate. A complete anterior cleft extends through the lip. Lip means upper lip, alveolar part of the maxilla to the incisive fossa. Okay, we got that. This is the unilateral cleft lip and cleft palate. Okay, clefts of the lip with or without cleft palate is also occur. So here we got both the cleft lip and cleft palate. Okay. About 7,000 orofacial defects occur in the United States per year in one statistics. It is found that like this number. Cleft lip and palate are associated with abnormal facial appearance, faulty speech, difficulty in feeding, especially the infants, abnormal facial appearance, and it looks very much frustrating to the person who has the cleft lip or cleft palate. Okay, it decreases the self esteem in some individual. And certainly, faulty speech because oral cavity and nasal cavity are communicated in a different way. And there will be difficulty in feeding. Although compatible with life, they may be a part of other syndrome like von Van der Wood syndrome. This is autosomal dominant syndrome. There may be a pit in the lower jaw, even maybe in the upper jaw. There will be cleft lip, cleft palate together. Okay. And this is the Bender Wood syndrome. It is autosomal dominant and there is problem in the interference 6 gene. Mohor syndrome, this is a problem. It is a, it is a cleft lip and palate have an, happen in the midland usually here. Associated with hollow prosencephaly, the frontal lobe of the brain will have different sulci and gyri and let two lateral lobe will be fused to form one lateral lobe of the brain. There is a hollow prosencephaly. Certainly along with other mental retardation or low IQ happen due to hollow prosencephaly. So this may be associated with cleft lip or palate or it may not be associated with cleft lip or palate. Causes of cleft lip and palate formation, the maxillary prominence fails to fuse with the medial nasal prominence. Okay, then we'll get the cleft lip. Faulty partitioning of the neural crest cell and mesodermal cell. It will lead to both cleft lip and cleft palate. Failure of the fusion of the palatine shelves that will lead to cleft palate. So our palatine shelf are initially like this to vertical. Then they will fuse together and form an arch. This is the definitive palatine arch. So ideally that two palatine shelf initially they are vertical. They will fuse together and tongue should go down. So in some individual tongue may not go down, there will be small mandible, okay, and neck is very much flexed, so tongue is pushed between two of the, of the palatine shell, so in that condition there will be, there will be cleft palate, midland palate, posterior to the incisive fossa, okay, we got that.
the possible causes the pathogenesis this happens in the formation of the cleft lip and palate okay additional point cleft palate may be associated with a small mandible we call micrognath here trisomy 13 teratogenic effect of drug like what like valproic acid okay like the anti-cancer drug busulfan that may lead to teratogenic effect and many other anti-cancer drug that may also lead to cleft lip and cleft palate even in animal study it is found that massive dose of corticosteroid may lead to cleft palate most cases of cleft lip and palate are caused by genetic and environmental factor hereditary has a role also it is multifactorial inheritance. If one sibling has cleft palate, around 4% of the coming sibling or the younger sibling will have the cleft palate. Management of cleft lip and palate is surgical. When it is done, it should be done during before one year. The cleft lip should be done within a few months and the Within the first month, even the cleft palate may be done at the end of the one year, okay, depending on the surgeon's choice. Okay, and that's all about the cleft palate and cleft lip. If you have any question, please feel free to ask me. Please share the information with your friends. Please support my channel. Please subscribe me. Have a nice and wonderful and blessed day by now.